Um, where would she like to be? Would she like to be down there? Or would she like to be up here? Okay, you do mind take the music stand right down there. Okay, sounds good. Are you all tuned? <laughs> That's okay. Mike's not here. He's packing it. Good morning. Welcome as we come to worship on this day the Lord has made. Welcome to those listening in the parking lot and those watching online. It's still Advent. I see a lot of red out there. That's not till tonight. <laughs> I'm underneath, I have my blue suit on because it's still Advent. We're in the fourth Sunday at Advent this morning. Tonight, we have the red. Now, this is all set up because I'm just too dang old to do everything after service tonight. So... <laughs> And too much going on today. But if you notice, baby Jesus is not at the stable yet. She is, he is not present. Because he's not here yet. Not till tonight. We rejoice today that Amelia Ann Mulholland will become a child of God in her baptism service during the service later on after the sermon. Well, not the sermon, but the children's program. Today, it, I rejoice that the children and youth of the congregation will give their present to the congregation with their program. It's a simple but very nice program this year. Tonight, there will be only one service at 7 o'clock, 
And then next Sunday, we'll have the service of Lesson and Carols and the installation of the Council and the Grove Committee. And we'll also have another baptism next week. So three weeks in a row for baptisms, that's just wonderful. And hopefully a fourth week, we'll just, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for my family. Are there any other announcements, concerns to come in front of the congregation? If not, let us quietly calm our hearts and our minds as we listen to the prelude and prepare for worship. Please rise.
We come to worship as we should live our lives in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we uh, confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Please kneel if you're able. Most merciful God, we confess that we are bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. <coughs> Almighty God in his mercy has given a son to die for us and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please rise as we join in singing number... 54.
our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. With your great might, give us your help, that whatever is hindered by our sins may be speedily accomplished by your grace. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. Right now we'll sing uh, with one uh, and with one voice light one candle. The Advent wreath is a circle representing God's unending love and eternal life won for us by Christ our Savior above. The wreath holds four simple candles, each with a special meaning. Three are blue, one is pink. T together they look quite appealing. The first is the blue prophecy candle, meaning the coming of the Messiah is at hand. The second is the blue Bethlehem candle for Joseph and Mary's journey to that land. The third is the pink shepherd's candle, which represents joy at Jesus' birth. And the last is the blue angel's candle, which represents peace and goodwill on earth. One candle's lit, the, lit first Advent Sunday. Each Sunday afterward, we light one more until all four are lighted the last Sunday of Advent to honor the Lord we adore. A reading from Isaiah. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. For to us a child is born, 
to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. heard at Christmas to wake the midnight sky, a Savior's birth on in peace on earth and praise to God on high. The angels sing at Christmas with all the hosts above, and still we sing the newborn King, his glory and his love. A reading from Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. 
This was from the first registration when Cornelius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town, and Joseph also went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was his child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. more than any other, blessed in thy son, child since the poor manager. Once thou didst not scorn, rest thee, little stranger, footed from all danger in our hearts newborn. Nestle thus, we pray thee, in our love cares. Fain we are to pay thee, worship and obey thee, babe and prince no less. A reading from Luke. And in the same region there are shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for I behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. 
and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom I am well pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. stars in the wintry sky. Christmas candles and windows bright send, sends greetings into the night. While in our hearts like Christmas flame glows with a love like his who came, the infant Christ of lowly birth to bring goodwill and peace to earth. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judah. 
Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so, so that I may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, and being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. What Christmas without Jesus Christ? It's a holiday full of stuff, money and stress, teaching kids great. Some people are saying enough. Love one another, our Savior said. It's all about love, not things. Let's teach our children to serve and create the real joy the true Christmas brings. Before Kathy starts uh, the first Noel, I just want to thank the mothers for helping us so much with this program and for all the kids and the talent 
that they shared with you this morning. Let's show our appreciation. And now let us rise and sing the first Noel.
In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and with his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Who presents this child? What we present with it. In Christian love, you have presented this child for holy baptism. You should therefore faithfully bring her to the services of God's house and teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. As she grows in years, you should place in her hands the Holy Scripture and provide for her instructions in the Christian faith and living in the covenant of her baptism and in communion with the church. She may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? If so, say, I do. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created heaven and earth. By the gift of water you nourished and sustained us and all living things. By the water of the flood you condemned the wicked and saved those whom you have chosen, Noah and his family. You let Israel by the pillar of cloud and fire through the sea, out of slavery into the freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from the bondage to sin and death and has opened the way to the joy and freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdom and of cleansing and rebirth, <coughs> and in obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit so that he who is baptized may be given new life. Wash away the sins of this little one, cleansed by this water, and bring him her forth to an inheritor of your grace, glorious kingdom. To be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I ask you, would the congregation please rise. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject the sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce all the forces of evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? Parents, say, I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born to the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your son and daughters from the power of sin and for raising them up to new life through the Holy Sacrament. Pour your Holy Spirit upon Amelia Ann, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Amelia Ann Mulholland, child of God, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the sign of the cross forever. Amen. May your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Can Dad handle that one? <laughs> okay. O God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon the father and mother of this child. Let them ever rejoice in the gift you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for their child. Strengthen them in their own baptism so they may share eternally with their child the salvation you have given them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through baptism, God has made this new sister a member of the priesthood we all share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim the praise of God and bear his creative and redeeming word to all the world. We welcome you into the Lord's family. We receive you as a fellow member of the body of Christ, a child of the same Heavenly Father, and a worker with us in the kingdom of God. Amen. And you gave us a little smile at the end. Good girl. <laughs> Let us welcome our new sister. And here's a box for the candle and a certificate. And so you can live up to your baptismal promises of putting the scriptures in her hand. I know that's, that's a big one, that's heavy. <laughs> and a blanket to wrap her in God's love. Thank you. Thank you all. Let us sing the offertory as the offering is brought forth. people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as we come to the end of this Advent journey, we look forward to celebrating the greatest gift given to the world, the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Guide and Spirit be with our church leaders. We especially pray for Bishop Dan Salvo, his staff, and his wife Mary. We pray for our area assistant to the bishop, Pastor Bill White. We pray for our mission district and all pastors and lay people who stand firmly on your word. Lord, in your mercy. King of the universe, we ask you to give wisdom and guidance to President Joe Biden and Governor Josh Shapiro. Be with all our legislators and local elected officials. May they all place their faith in you. Lord, in your mercy. God, our protector, be of all those serving in the military, especially those who are in harm's way. We also pray for first responders, our police officers and firefighters, along with those serving as EMTs and in the ERs. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, King of the universe, there are many who have not heard of you and your amazing grace and mercy. Raise up and call men and women to serve you as pastors and lay worship leaders who will faithfully follow you. Lord, in your mercy. God of peace. Let there be peace in this world of troubles. We pay, pray for the people of Ukraine, 
the people of Israel and the innocent ones in Gaza. Lord, in your mercy. Healing spirit, be with those who need your healing hand, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We especially pray for Pastor Myers, for Barry Moyer, Brenda Kokonar, Harry King, Floyd Thomas, Mark Huffman, Kira Kimmel, Eric Birch, Bill Hood, Dave Hay, Tom Wires, and the family of Mark Mishler, and for all those we name in our hearts before you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. God of comfort, comfort, be with those who mourn and grieve for their loved ones. Give your comfort to the day we are all united in your heavenly home. Lord, in your mercy. And to your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may almighty God, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and guide us from this day forth and forevermore. Amen. Let us join in singing with great joy hymn number 39, Joy to the World.
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.